Major Slack Videos. Hey, welcome back to Major Slack Videos, your first stop for easy Elden Ring gameplay. You don't need to get good, you just need to get slack. Yeah, and that's not just a meaningless slogan, I really mean that. I work very hard to make all my strategies accessible to gamers of all skill levels. You don't have to be like a super expert master dodge roller to get through this game. I'm going to get you through it in fine style. Um, today's video is all about Castle Saul, and this was a day's work. I'm not kidding. A whole day's work, easy, to figure out all the best strategies and make and harness all our resources to kick Castle Saul's ass. So if you're watching this, this means that everything went off without a hitch and all the strategies worked perfectly. Um, if I'm not commenting, it just do exactly what I'm doing. I may not have time to like do a live running commentary and everything I'm doing. Okay, it's just this everything we're going to be doing here is going to take a lot of focus and I got to remember a lot of things, a lot of different strategies. All right, we're going to start off with the Tiber Mariner boss fight. You see this little V right here? So the Tiber Mariner boss fight right there. We could take him down with Rock Sling easily if we can get on the ledge right above him. So make sure you got your meteoric meteoric. Meteorite staff in your left hand and your meteoric ore blade in your right. And we're just gonna get there. Drop down on the ledge and start throwing rock sling at him. If he gets underneath us, he gets like a death blade on us, so we can't have the line of fire at him. Just use your the gravitas skill on your ore blade and that'll mess him up. Because there he is down there. Just gonna get safely down right here, double back, and get onto the ledge here. Get off your horse and let him have it with the rock sling. Broke his stance. That was textbook. Totally kicked his butt. These guys down here, you can take care of them with the uh, Great Glintstone Shards. Something fast. A couple of Great Glintstone Shards. There's usually two of them. There's another one hiding over here. Right there. Very good. Next. The Death Right Bird, which is going to ignore. And there is Castle Salt. This was a bitch. I died so many times working out the practice, uh, doing in practice runs, working out all the strategies. So we're just gonna run down to the west here. Keep on the. Uh, yeah, I died so many times. It's like there's like a death waiting around every corner. It's nuts. Um, there's just gonna be like this uh, field boss, the death right bird. We're just gonna ignore that for now. Okay, so we're heading down to the west here to find a safe place to drop down right about here. The bird's gonna spawn, don't worry about it, don't panic. And just double back and we're gonna go to the castle. There's a sight of grace right in front of the castle. Okay, hit it up. And let's bring down this walking mausoleum just to get it the bell to stop ringing. This is this the same thing you always do. Get up near uh, all four legs and use the gravity skill on your meteor guard blade to knock this crap off. See all that crystal crap? Do it once on each leg and that should bring him down. Make sure you don't get stepped on. That 
Okay, once you've done all four lakes, just back off and see if that's enough to bring him down. And it is. And is it? Yeah, here it goes. No, it looks like he's still moving around. This occasionally happens, so if this happens, just go up and do every each one again. crystal stuff here. Harry, now he's going down. It's that crystal stuff that's, you know how it works, the crystal stuff that's around these feet. You gotta knock it off. That's the easiest way to knock it off. Okay, so we brought him down. You know the routine here. Go in and reduplicate a remembrance. Save for that for a later date. All right, so we have that option. All right, let's get ready for Castle Saul. First thing is, uh, let me do something before I forget. Ash of War. We're gonna put our Morning Star to work. We're gonna start earning your pay there, Morning Star. Okay. Morning Star, we're going to put the Thunderbolt Ash of War and use the Lightning Affinity. That's important, okay? Thunderbolt Lightning Affinity, all right? Next, Spell Roll. It's a very specific magic spell roll I'm going to be using here. Take out everything and start with Loretta's Great Bow. Next, Night Comet. Next, Great Glintstone Shard. Next, Magic Glint Blade. Next, Scholar Shield. This is really important. Scholar Shield is very important. Next, um, Terra Magica. And this may not be necessary because I changed my strategy at the last minute, but throw it in just anyways, like just for good measure. Renella's woman, okay? So, Great Bow, Comet, Great Glintstone Shard, Magic Limp Blade, Scholar Shield, Terra Magica, and Renella's Full Moon. And as far as flats, um, let's put them almost even. So, six red, seven blue, alright? And we're gonna start off with. Basically, you want um, yeah, that's right. Start off with the staff of loss in the right hand, and the meteorite staff in the left. And we got to start off with a couple of lying guardians here. So what we're gonna do is gonna go in, release Lutel, and then run for the platform at the back. Get up on the platform there, alright? And then we're gonna um, let Lutel start working on the Lion Guardian. And we're gonna be casting Rock Sling at him. Now, what happens is if he manages to get up on the platform, sometimes he does, he's just gonna simply go underneath the platform. And he rarely comes underneath the platform. And from underneath the platform, Rock Sling is not gonna be that useful. You're gonna switch over to Night Comet. And that's it. And there's two of them there. That's the plan. Let's do it. Start off with Rock Sling. I don't have Rock Sling. Let's take out Renella's full moon for now. Take a little heat. But 
get up on the platform. Heal up. Target. Rock sling. Watch it. Now it's time to go to our Alamo underneath. Switch to Night Comet. And if he's above you, use the Gravitas skill. That's one down. And there's the other. Can't get a line of fire on him, so let's use the Gravitas skill. Had a critical watch. He's gonna do the, the the frost attack. That's really deadly. Get far away from that when he does that. And he's almost dead. There you go. That was textbook. And Lutel is half alive. Great. Way to go. Excellent. All right. Next. To that, uh, those guys won't respawn, so you can safely come back here and uh, powder your nose, refill your flask, <laughs> and let me um, take out Roxley because we definitely won't need that now, and throw in Renella's full moon. Okay, now there's a painting in here. We're gonna do that first. Come in, go out to the left here, and get a uh, great glintstone shard ready to go. And in your right hand, I would recommend the carrying regal scepter. Left hand, I would recommend the staff of loss. So, carrying regal scepter and meteoric guard blade, your shield, and the staff of loss. All right, and we don't need that. And the talismans are good for an hour, and I'm going to change them later on. Up here, there's a door um, that is locked. I can't show you now because we're going to have to, we're have, going to, have to engage with um, some other enemies over there. Just trust me, this is the best way to go. In here are a whole bunch of slugs, you can take them all out with great glintstone shards. One shot each. There's five slugs. That's two. Count your kills. That's three. There's one up there. You have to sucker him to come down. Just go in. Come out. And he drops down. That's four. Switch over the air blade. Grab this. And take care of the fifth one. Alright. Done and done. Get yourself some nascent butterfly. I'm just gonna have to climb up to, rem to remind me what is next. Oh yeah, this is a bitch. Um, this is hardly worth it. If you don't want the great hood, which gives you plus two to intelligence and plus two to faith, it's a um a helmet. That's what it does. It gives you plus two to uh, intelligence and faith. Um. Don't bother doing this. I think this is a smithing stone 6 as well. But this is difficult. Great Glintstone Shard is going to be our best friend throughout the whole thing. And a little bit of fancy rolling. It's going to be a... Um, this place is full of spectral soldiers and spectral knights. They kind of disappear and reappear. And they, tele like they teleport all over the place. There's one going to spawn right up there. So it's just going to go over here. 
Free Ray Flintstone's charge to finish him off, lock off, and back off here because it's going to be another one that spawns there. He'll try to flank you. Let's approach a little bit, get him to spawn. There he is, back off. Let's keep your distance from these guys if you can. Three great glintstones try to do them in. Okay, and that's that. Now, here's where it gets really heavy. Right over there is a guy with a ballista and he's got like these fire bolts on them and the fire bolts blow up. So even if you're behind cover, they'll explode and knock you down. The game is cheating its ass off here. Totally cheating its ass off. Um, but you're rolling with major slack, so we're gonna take care of that. There's one right got that guy right there. Basically, the best thing to do is uh, we're gonna pop out, sucker him in to start shooting, and then um, in between shots, we're gonna lock on, roll like four or five times towards him, and then once you get close enough, you can um, finish him off a great glintstone shard by simply standing up and strafing back and forth. Let's see if I can pull this off. He's shooting. Let's see if we get a lock on. He shoots. Start rolling. And when you know, keep rolling. Got him. A little messy. But that's par for the course. Now, same thing here. See that guy there? He's going to be doing the same thing, and there's another guy who's going to start throwing firebombs at the top of the stairs there. Here, the best thing to do is um, we're going to do the same thing. Get him to start shooting, and we're going to roll all the way down the ramp there and get right underneath and get a perfect death light on him. Once we get a death light on him, and he has no line or fire on us, we can just use a meteoric or blade gravitas attack to um, kill him. Right? So let's sucker him at. Start shooting it. And keep rolling. Keep rolling no matter what. We got him now. Got him. Broke his stance. And we got him. Great. Let's go up here. Keep your shields up. Could be another one again. Okay, we got them both. Great. Alright, now... The Stormhawk... Oh, there's a Stormhawk right here. Once again, grab the skill. He's all he always ambushes you as you come along here down below. I think we got him. Okay, and there's a storm hawk axe right there. You can see it on the left side of the screen. First of all, let's go down here. I think he's still alive. You can hear him squawking down there. Okay, just slide down here. And this is another one of those artistic paintings. The sorcerer painting. The location of this. We've actually been there. It's this. It's on this bridge right here. And there's see this like little ledge here. I believe it's uh, the site of grace is blocking it, but it's like you go on this bridge. <coughs> pardon me. And you look like there's one of these little platforms on this side here. If you look right there, that's where the, the ghost is sitting in a chair. Interact with him and you'll get the Great Hood. I know, all that just for... Well, I don't know. Okay, make sure you open this door because now you can... Um, get back through this way. And um, let's go get that Stormhawk Axe. Let's back up we go. And the way you get this is uh, go down here and you're going to jump up on top of the, go to this side, jump up on top of the canopy 
and you're gonna hop over onto the ledge right here and grab yourself Stormhawk Axe, which actually has, um, it's pretty good. Oh, it's shit, that thing's still alive. But I think he's wounded. This is unusual. You better not kill me. Okay, well, you know the deal with these things. Use the grabs as skill to bring them down. There we go. And the doggies, great glintstone shard. Very good. All right, so we did that. for demonstrational purposes. Here's the platform where we used um, to kill the Lion Guardians. There's the front door if you came in here and you went up here. What would happen is the Stormhawk would be sitting up there waiting to ambush you. You wouldn't realize he's there. You come down here and he starts swooping down with his claws and whatnot and he's got a fire attack too. Um, then if you turn to the left here and went to this door, this door would be locked. That's what we just opened. Right? Oh, looks like we got another doggy here. Done and done. Okay, so we're getting, getting some heavy melee here. Where you're gonna hook up is your scholar shield, and you can swap back and forth between the carrying regal scepter and the Morning Star. Okay, this is great at breaking stance on enemies, especially this one enemy that's that we're gonna be facing out this like the spectral banished knight. These things are a bitch, but I'm gonna show you how to take him down. Um some light on the subject here. Alright, so start with Scholar Shield. Switch over to uh Greek Glintstone Shard. That's where you fill. Don't let it be caught short. When you come out here, see a spectral. It's gonna spawn right there. Quickly now. Alright. And run away. Switch over to your Morning Star. Get right in here and get ready to do a guard counter. Just hit him, but he doesn't do anything. And there's something I forgot to do. Let's set up our. Here you want definitely the Great Shield Talisman, boost your guarding ability, and you want the Claw Talisman to give you extra damage on guard counters. Like that. There you go. Okay. Now there's going to be two more spectral soldiers off to the right there. Let's get ready for him. Scholar Shield. Don't bother switching to Great Glintstone Shard. Just switch over to your Morning Star. Go out here. Get to the stairs. Go up the stairs. Go just across the wall and double back and immediately jump over here. Back down here. And I didn't hear them spawn. That's very unusual. Okay, there's one up there. That's typical. Let's see if we can uh, get the other one. Here he is. Okay, same dealio here. If they both come down, you guys have to switch over to the Great Glintstone Shard. Doing that. It's so satisfying. I'm 
forgot to tell you, when he raises his sword high up like that, that's a three hit combo coming. So wait until you, he does the third swing and then do, then do the guard counter. I, I screwed it up. There should be one more here. Okay, there's that guy with the... Uh, the crossbow. Maybe we can get him with um, break glintstone shard from here. Got him. Perfect. Okay, that just leaves the banished knight, the spectral banished knight. He's going to be tough. Here, I'm going to throw in a little bit of. Uh, Exalted Flesh. I rarely use this, so might as well use it. Okay, same dealio here. We're going to load up a Scholar Shield, switch over to um, Great Glintstone Shard. Going to go up, spawn him, see how many times we can hit him with Great Glintstone Shard before we have to go melee with him. And he's going to be getting right up in our face, teleporting all around. And every time he does a hit, do guard counter, because he typically just does one hit. He doesn't have very many combos and um, might be able to break his stance and take him down and do a critical hit. Okay, so that's the plan. Um, let's just refill. And, uh, okay, go on outside. I gotta focus here. Lock off, roll here, down here, wait for him to come down, guard counter. Got him. Yeah. Yeah, that's, I just love doing that, it's so satisfying bring down those guys. A real pain in the arse. Okay, so that's everybody. Now we have access to a new side of grace right up ahead. Let's just get all the goodies. Duo because I have not um, hit a side of grace yet, so everybody's dead. Let's make a quick tour around, make sure I got everything. Got the Stormhawk axe, did the painting. Stormhawk is dead, so we should be able to. Oh, and let me just. Um, let you know what we're ultimately after. We want to get this elevator working. Right now it's not working. Okay? Contraption does not move. We have to get this working. Well, you don't have to, but it would be a lot easier to do the boss fight if you can get it working. Okay, so that's the ultimate goal here. Spidey sense was tingling. This should be a golden rune. Yeah, golden rune tent. Maybe something underneath here too. Nope, we got that. I think we're good to go. Depending on how many, how much resources you have left, 
You, you may want to do the next part before you rest. So let's just go in here and just activate, but do not rest yet. If you're in good shape. Let's see if I can pull this off. We're going to switch over to Great Glenstone Shard. And there's a an even tougher Spectral Knight up there. He's like, he's in this area here. In this area here. And what you're going for is a stone sword key and I believe a smithing stone six. If you don't want that, don't bother because this is a tough fight. Um, Okay, I want to get nice and healthy. And might as well use my uh, classical wonders physic. Get all the extra sauce on this. There he is. As soon as he hit the second wolf, he gets activated. <clears throat> Shit. I accidentally took my health. I thought I refilled my FP, so now, now I'm in dire straits here. Come on now. Got him. That guy is always at panic. See, one little mistake and I almost died. Okay, but I survived. And that is the strategy. Just keep pummeling him with Great Glen Soul Shard. It's the fastest spell. And he usually, um, you can usually outpace him. As long as you keep backing up and keep blasting with Great Glen Soul Shard, you're good to go. Thumbs up for the Slackster. Live play-by-play -play commentary while I'm fucking up. <laughs> That's really hard, eh? That's really, really hard. And here, this is what we came for, the Stone Sword Key. And I think maybe there's a smithing stone around here somewhere. Alright, we made it. The reason why you want to do this is because the Sight of Grace in here, as soon as you rest, that other Spectral Banished Knight will spawn right here, and all the other Spectral Soldiers that you just took down. So doing this part that I just did is going to be twice as difficult because all those guys are going to be roaming around and if you get them activated, you're going to be, you know. So that's why it's best to do that part first and then rest at the side of grace. And then we're going to continue this way, all right? It's going to rest. Lick our wounds. Powder your nose. And let's wait till daytime. Part 2 of Castle Saul is coming up next video. Thanks a lot for watching. <laughs> and if you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, post a comment, tell your friends about my channel, and I'll see you next time for Part 2 of Castle Saul. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. 
For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. All right. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.